Welcome to a Vector Tuts Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a label using a live effect that will change size when the size of your text changes. So if you were doing this without a dynamic effect, you might start with a rectangle, and then maybe add a couple of points to the bottom and drag out an arrow shape. And then you could add a drop shadow to that. And then you could type out your text, but you wouldn't want to type it on the box because that might create an area type object. So then you'd place your text on top of the box, and that's all well and good. But when your text changes, you have to change the size of the box to accommodate that. So that involves a lot of steps that really aren't necessary if you use this effect. So the first thing I'm going to do to my plain text is add a new fill to it in the Appearance panel. I'll change that fill color to white, and right now it's on top of the characters, so I'll drag it underneath the characters in the Appearance panel. Now, with that fill still selected, I'm going to go up to the Effect menu to Convert to Shape Rectangle. And here I have a choice of the rectangle, the rounded rectangle, or the ellipse. So in case you change your mind, you can access all three shapes here. But I'm going to leave it on Rectangle. And here you have a choice between Absolute and Relative. Absolute means that you can add a specific point dimension to the width and height of your object. And Relative means that you can just add extra width and height and it will change depending on the size of your text. So I'm just going to add four points on either side of the width, and a little more on the height, and this will give me room for ascenders and descenders in my text. Now to create the pointer shape, I'm going to duplicate this fill, and I'll click the Duplicate Selected Item icon on the bottom of the Appearance panel, and there I have my copy. I'm going to change this top copy to a different color just so you can see it and understand what we're doing better. So I'll change it to this dark green. So this has the same Convert to Shape effect applied to it, so I'm going to click Rectangle to edit it. And this time I'm going to choose Absolute, and I want it to be a square, so I'll just leave it at 36 points in both the height and the width. Now with this still selected, I'm going to go back to the Effect menu to Distort and Transform, Transform. And I'll turn on the Preview button and enter an angle of 45 degrees. And now you can see that we have a diamond shape, and all I need to do now is just move it down using the vertical slider. Now I'll just use the up arrow key to move that down a little bit, and be aware that when you have a positive value in the vertical field, the object actually moves down. Now I'll change the fill color back to white, and now you can see that this gives us a rectangle with a pointer at the bottom. Now if I wanted to add a drop shadow, I can just go back to the Effect menu or click the Effects icon at the bottom of the Appearance panel, and choose Stylize Drop Shadow. I'll turn on the Preview button, and that looks pretty good. And of course, it's only behind that one rectangle right now. So I'm going to drag it down in the Appearance panel, so it's below both fills. And now I have my dynamic label, and if I change the size of the text, the label changes accordingly. Here are some other examples of ways you can use this effect. On the top example, I just have my pointer shape moved to the top of the box rather than the bottom. On the second example, I've kept the diamond shape in the middle, but I've moved it all the way over to the right, so I end up with a kind of arrow. On the third example, I have an ellipse instead of a rectangle, just for a different look. And in the fourth example, I have two rounded rectangles. One is slightly bigger than the other. So I hope you can see the benefit of using the Convert to Shape effect for this kind of thing. Once you create the effect, you can apply it to any text, and the size will update automatically. You won't have to spend a lot of time manually adjusting the size of your labels.